Hi, I'm Snow, and this is Gas and Go. Hit it. All right, welcome to another episode of Gas and Go with Snow. I am in Arizona. You guys hear me talking all the time about going to Arizona and doing training for EV conversions. Well, Bailey, thanks for doing this. All right. My pleasure. Bailey is one of the creators of the training at Legacy EV. Bailey, tell us about the training. Ooh, thanks for asking. So I would say that it's going to give you all the fundamentals that you need to know to learn how to service, repair, build EV systems and components. Okay. All right. Now, let's say I know nothing about EVs at all, okay. and I want to convert a 1980 Chevy truck. So what would you teach me? How would I go about it? I mean, I don't know how to use, um, I don't know, whatever these things are. So <laughs> what, what, would, what would we do? What, what was the basics? Yeah, absolutely. You're going to start off like learning what are you taking out of your ICE vehicle and what are you replacing with EV components. So we're going to learn how all of the components fit together, what systems, uh, how the motor, the battery, and the charging system fit together. And okay. then you're going to wire it. Um, okay. right here on one of our test benches um, and get some hands-on experience. Okay, so, all right, Drew is behind the camera. My man Drew, come over here and let's, so Bailey, walk me through what we asked. You said motor, battery, charger. Let's start with the motor. Where is the motor? If I pulled out my gasoline engine, what would I replace it with? Absolutely, right here we have the ME1616 motor system we have an x144 sme charger and so that kind of makes up the bulk of what you take out when you take out that uh, gas engine what you're putting in okay so this would take the place of you know my 454 big block mm -hmm. and this is basically my ecu my computer this is what controls the motor yeah okay exactly. all right and then now i need a gas tank so what would i <laughs> what would i replace the gas tank with battery packs so down here we have your custom legacy battery packs they are nmc uh right now they got some dummy plugs on them because we're actually going to be using some testing instruments to learn how to make sure that the system is de-energized before you take your ppe off and start wiring Okay, so I don't see any PPE. What, what, what's PPE? Oh yeah, good question. So uh, today, because today's day two of our training, um, they're going to be learning how to use Class Zero gloves and leather protectors and some testing tools like this Klein multimeter to actually verify that everything is zero voltage everywhere before they're allowed to take those things off and begin touching with their bare hands. Okay, so normally, when I run out of gas, I go to the gas station, I put the pump in, I fill it up. <laughs> I don't see a fill port on here, so what would fill up those batteries? How would I fill me uh, top off? What what's Yeah, absolutely. Well Drew, our cameraman, can come skip shimmy around over here. We've got a J plug over here. Ah, this is kind of like is. what your gas tank would be on in a, a car equivalent. All right, good. So I'm guessing we plug into there, mm -hmm. and that connects to this guy, which takes that AC, turns it into DC, and Nailed fills it. up our batteries. Nailed it. And then right. you also have a DC-DC converter right here that's going to kind of step down that DC voltage so that you can still have a 12-volt system for, like, your brakes and wipers and things like that. Well, I don't have one of those. I have an alternator. Oh, well, that would be the equivalent. You take the alternator out and put that in instead. Ah, mm -hmm. my alternator, mm -hmm. ah, new school alternator. Ah, there you go. <laughs> All right, last thing I want to ask you about. Mm -hmm. I see a lot of wires and gizmos in here. What is this? What does this do? Okay, this is what we would call our high voltage junction box or contactor box. So it has kind of all of the more spooky components inside of it that are nice and hermetically sealed. Uh, <laughs> exactly. So you've got your high voltage fuses. You've got both your positive and negative contactor in there. And so they're actually, you could see they're labeled right now because people are going to learn by looking at wiring diagrams. How does this all fit together to make my EV run. Okay, all right. Well, this is by no means everything there is to learn. This is just scratching the surface. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what I do when I come to Arizona. Well, first of all, thanks again. Thank you for doing this. My pleasure. This gives you got an idea of what's going on here, but there's a lot more to learn. So stay tuned. Next time we'll give you a little bit more details on uh, Gas and Go with Snow. See you guys next time. Cheers. Oh,